At the beginning, after the usual Yoga Keshima hearing, Kajambalar Pariyavilar looked at the assembled people and said, You can't talk to him alone for even a minute to know his innermost desires. Everyone knows why. It is said that he was kept in the Tanjore fort for the sake of the emperor's welfare. It seems to me that he is actually being held captive by the spoilers. I don't know what you all think. When the commander stood a little at this place, he said, Yes, yes, that is true. Emperor is being kept in jail, many voices in the gathering said. In the 80th Braya, Tirapurambayam came to the battlefield carrying two knives in both hands and spinning them like a wheel and piled the heads of the enemies like a mountain wherever he entered. Is it believable if such a warrior, born in Sundara Chola dynasty, refuses to come out citing discomfort? It appears that the treacherous thinker holding the emperor captive has also confused him with voodoo magic tricks. If the emperor's will is in the right state, when he has two valiant sons like Pai Marjuna, would he want to crown Madhurandha, who has never seen the battlefield with his eyes? Is it believable if such a warrior, born in Sundara Chola dynasty, refuses to come out citing discomfort? It appears that the treacherous thinker holding the emperor captive has also confused him with voodoo magic tricks. If the emperor's will is in the right state, when he has two valiant sons like Pai Marjuna, would he want to crown Madhurandha, who has never seen the battlefield with his eyes? Is it believable if such a warrior, born in Sundara Chola dynasty, refuses to come out citing discomfort? It appears that the treacherous thinker holding the emperor captive has also confused him with voodoo magic tricks. If the emperor's will is in the right state, when he has two valiant sons like Pai Marjuna, would he want to crown Madhurandha, who has never seen the battlefield with his eyes? Now many at once asked, how do we know that is the emperor's will? They asked. We don't know for sure. It might be a story concocted by the Palyavetareus. But even our Prime Minister Anirutha Brahmare believes it. Anirutha may have joined them, who saw? Said one of the crowd. It may be so, knowing its truth is one of the main purposes of our gathering here. You also know the rumour that is circulating in the city of Tanjore today. I do not believe it. I believe that we will all have the privilege of seeing the Emperor alive. When we see him, we will hear and know firsthand what his wishes are about the title. Perhaps if the Emperor himself expressed his desire to crown Madhurandha, would you all agree to it? We won't. We won't. There was a big shout. Why does Sundara Chola want to give title to Madhuranthagan? Let me give you one more example of his bad will. After killing the heroic Pandian and destroying the Pandian army, my brother took an army to punish the king of Elam who had come to Pandian's aid. We failed to send enough troops and supplies to help him. So he died a heroic death on the battlefield. Pawnee's wealth and I went in order to wipe away the stain that had befallen the heroic fame of the Chola nation. We annihilated the Elam forces. We captured an Aradapura. We made Mahinda run and hide in the hill country. You all know that Thanatakari Palyavetare is not cooperating with us. The great business leaders among you who have come here have helped by sending food items. But our soldiers had to experience so many hardships. Why did Mahinda annihilate the forces by tolerating so much? It is because of the enthusiasm given by Pawnee Selvar, who is the best warrior among the Chola warriors. What was the gift given by the father emperor to such a brave son? Abandam accused him of treason and ordered the prince to be imprisoned. Could a person of Siddhaswadian have issued such an order? What was the gift given by the father emperor to such a brave son? Abandam accused him of treason and ordered the prince to be imprisoned. Could a person of Siddhaswadian have issued such an order? What was the gift given by the father emperor to such a brave son? Abandam accused him of treason and ordered the prince to be imprisoned. Could a person of Siddhaswadian have issued such an order? Sinadipati. You are talking about the emperor's order again. What is the proof that the emperor sent the edict? Asked one of the congregation. How could the prince have drowned in the sea when all the others on the ship had survived? Therefore, when the prince came ashore, there must have been a conspiracy to imprison him. The prince, 
who learned of the ruse, escaped and was safe somewhere, I was hoping that he would come out at the right time. Many of you said you believed so. Our hope is fulfilled. We learned that the prince had emerged on the day of the storm at Nagaipatanam and that the Chola people were welcoming him with Vijaya Kolak Alam and bringing him to Tanjavur. We also came here with the intention of being strong on their side. But the cunning schemers have again shown their handiwork, many of you said you believed so. Our hope is fulfilled. We learned that the prince had emerged on the day of the storm at Nagaipatanam and that the Chola people were welcoming him with Vijaya Kolak Alam and bringing him to Tanjavur. We also came here with the intention of being strong on their side. But the cunning schemers have again shown their handiwork, many of you said you believed so. Our hope is fulfilled. We learned that the prince had emerged on the day of the storm at Nagaipatanam and that the Chola people were welcoming him with Vijaya Kolak Alam and bringing him to Tanjavur. We also came here with the intention of being strong on their side. But the cunning schemers have again shown their handiwork. What to do? Many people asked worriedly. I got the news just a few minutes before I came to this meeting. When the prince was about to leave Tiravara this morning, he got mad at the mounted elephant and threw away the elephant's trunk. The elephant sprang away and ran away. The prince also disappeared in the confusion. Ouch, what the hell is this? Is God on the side of the crooks? Many people started to say that. They were arrested by the synodipity and kept quiet. When I first heard the news, I was shocked. I managed to come to this meeting. Prince Aromas Hivarman who has unparalleled bravery on the battlefield and is also unrivaled in intelligence, will not be easily caught in the net of deceit. I am expecting to receive some good news about him soon. Meanwhile, we I'd like to know your thoughts on what to do and how to deal with this dilemma. When the commander had thus finished saying what he had to say, the others gave their opinions. Their opinions were almost uniform in important matters. Only minor details have changed. Many people said that the representatives of the people there should meet the emperor tomorrow and ask for a facility to talk to him, and if they get a chance, they should make it clear to the emperor that we do not want Maduranthagan Chola to climb the lion. Either, the emperor should remove the Palyavatarais from their despotic positions, or the emperor should leave Tanjavur and go to Palayare. Since Aditha Kari Kalar has already received Uvarajya Patafi Shekham, he is the next one who deserves the title. If he refuses to be the title holder, Arulmaz Ivarmer is the next owner of Singadanam. This should be informed to the emperor without leaving any room for doubt and he should also agree. Some people said that. What is the siege for? It is to send out soldiers to break down the castle gates and walls at once. Some said. Some thought that it would be better to wait until news of the prince arrived and that they should send men to Adadakari Kalar to fetch him as well. What is the use of waiting for that? A large army of Sundara Chola, dominated by the Palyavatarais, is approaching Kaladam from the marsh country. At present, due to the flood in Kaladam and other rivers, the troops cannot come here. Therefore, this is the right time to demolish the fort and rescue the emperor from the prison of the Palyavatarais. While the discussion was going on, a warrior who was guarding the door of the tent hurried in and said something in the commander's ear. He looked at the crowd and left, saying, Here I come. Keep talking. <laughs>